Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about a book written by an old friend of mine. And it's this book, The Joker, 20 Years in the SAS by Pete Scully. Now, I met Pete first on a, a bodyguard job looking after one of the royal personalities. And um, I think I mentioned before when I reviewed the book about Borneo, um, we were talking about the Borneo operation and I was telling him about a character in the book who was telling jokes while uh, behind enemy lines. And he said, that was me, that was me. I looked it up and sure enough it was. And uh, it kind of summed him up. And we, we got on quite well. And um, we worked together on quite a few bodyguard jobs in various places and also uh, on, on training jobs, training uh, close protection people. So Pete had a very varied military career, serving in various units, including the Royal Artillery, before going into the Parachute Regiment, where he served in uh, two para. Um, while there, uh, he made the decision in 1963 to try out for uh, SAS selection. So, uh, together with uh, a couple of his mates, including uh, Brummy Hassel, from, also from two para, they went down to Hereford. And he, he tells the full story of selection as it was done back then, um, very little information was available. Uh, he, he was really surprised at the weights you had to carry, the 55 pound, and the distances you had to go, but he stuck with it and um, passed all the phases, uh, the jungle training as well, uh, con continuation, and was badged by uh, Colonel Woodhouse and posted to... Uh, D Squadron 18 Troop and a quote from the book 18 Troop was the mobility troop I was shifted to the Rover Troop 18 Troop where I was to encounter two big ugly complicated things which were to take on a major significance in my life over the next few years the first of these was the specially modified long-range SAS Pink Panther Land Rover. The second was the Troop Sergeant Don Lofty Lodge. He is, of course, joking because they, they were firm friends. And the story of um, the operations in Borneo, particularly the Coemba Patrol, uh, which was told in the Borneo book, The Jungle Frontier, um, I heard from Pete, uh, but I also heard it from Lofty Large. Pete took me around to see him. And hearing it from his point of view, having to lead these guys, these including Pete the Joker, uh, put a, an interesting dimension on it. So, uh, you know, I, I would refer you to that operation because it really, they were the only patrol who made it through and found the Coemba River. Then... Um, he, uh, they, they also did uh, Aden, so they were doing um, Borneo and Aden um, um, in um, rotation, completely different theatres of operation, and um, Lofty went off to uh, two three SAS, and Pete decided to have a go at uh, free fall in sixteen troop, uh, and he became a free faller, and. Uh, then, um, some time later, he moved over to B Squadron, and uh, that's when Oman kicked off Operation Storm. And one of the um, kind of very notable operations that took place was Op Jaguar, Jaguar which was a climb up the Jebel, which was really arduous and really brought home why selection was so, so tough. The book is full of characters. You've got officers like Punchy Williams and Willie Fife, and you've got some of the guys, some of the lads like, like Kevin Walsh, Paddy Milliken. Uh, they, it really is um, a delight to read. And most of these guys are very far from the stereotype 
of of the kind of special forces uh, soldier. Um, the the much more down to earth. Uh, having worked with Pete for so long, I am. Um, I, I suggested he write a book, and he looked askance at me, and, and he, he, he said that he wasn't a writer. And I said, "Well, I said the way you tell your stories, all you need to do is dictate them into a tape and get someone to transcribe them." Now I don't know if that's what he did, but he has produced the book and got all the stories. And the only thing missing is Pete's impersonations. He was a, a relentless mimic. And the accents, the Scottish accents, the Irish accents, the Fijian accents he did, the officers' accents were all spot on. And it brought the stories to life. And um, unfortunately, Pete uh, passed away a few years ago, but um, his book uh, is part of his legacy, and I recommend you read it.